Hey guys, so in our video on how to live in your RV for $30 a week, I mentioned that I would show you guys how I do maps online to basically plan everything out when we're going to parks. And so let's dive in and do that on this video. Okay, so I have used and tried to use a bunch of different map programs over the years and honestly, the best one that I found as far as functionality and ease of use and simplicity is just Google My Maps. So Mark here created this Google My Map for us, which has all the national parks on it. Um, he went in and put in um, like how he did research on like most people spend two to five days. Um, if we have any questions on or anything to remember about that, like someone wants to eat with us in Denver, we'll put that in there so we don't forget. Really easy to make. If you haven't made a Google My Map before, if you just go to this little hamburger button there and then go to your maps, then you click on this little hamburger here and go to your places and then click on maps. And then down at the bottom, there's create a map. It brings you to a spot where you can create a map. And you'll see like there's a ton more dots here. So as we're planning an actual going to a park, we'll put in tons of stuff around that location that we might want to visit or visitor centers or lots of different things. So I'll show you how to do that here. It's nice to be able to, to do this on a computer and do all this research and find all these things and have a big screen. But then you also wanna be able to pull that up on your phone. So I'll show you how to do that as well. And then the cool thing too, is you can download um, those maps to your phone so that even if you don't have cell phone reception um, and you don't wanna use data, you can uh, pull those up in your Google My Map. First thing we'll do, so like this next place we're headed is Colorado. We're gonna to go to the four parks in Colorado here. So we'll do, uh, Mark does a, a nice little Google sheet for us kind of decide where we're gonna go first, which parks. So there's four parks in Colorado here. So what we'll do, I think uh, Rocky Mountains is one of the bigger ones. And so we'll go ahead and uh, look at that one and kind of play that out like we're doing it here. If you're in a Google My Map here, what you can do is, you've already created this, so right? So you click on where we're starting and then we'll click on directions, click on that and then You'll see down, it actually, in the corner here, puts um, a little untitled layer. So you can click in there and figure out, okay, so we wanna go to, you can only have so many of these untitled, or these layers here. So you can put a bunch in, but eventually you'll wanna delete them. And I actually prefer to delete them. And I'll show you why once I figure out. So if, if you click on this and go to step-by-step -step directions, you can see how long it's going to take you to go from there to there. So five hours and 18 minutes, which Mark already put that in five hours and 15 minutes, close enough, um, from to travel from great sand dunes to Rocky mountains. So we know we ha will have about a full day of travels there. Typically just delete that layer and I'll go in to this area. So we know we're coming in from this direction or we'll be coming in from this direction. So then what I'll do is I'll actually usually go in and add in all the visitor centers that we want to potentially visit while we're there. And so I'll show you that. The easiest I found is just on your phone to pull up the National Park Service app. You hop onto the NPS National Park Service on your phone, you click on find a park. Type in, um, let's see, Rocky Mountain National Park. Click on that, then click on the park, um, explore the full park. And then I always download it as well, so you can use all the stuff on here, even if you don't have reception, which has saved us a few times and been nice but you wanna click on visitor centers and then you can see um, all the visitor centers, open ones, closed ones, most of the time they're accurate, sometimes they're not. <laughs> but um, if you go to, for instance, on Google My Maps, type in Beaver Meadows and visitor center, it'll pull right up, you know, Fall River Visitor Center, pull right up and I'll typically add in all the ones that we might want to go to onto the My Maps. You can also just click on the, the map here 
and see where they're at located. So I know we're coming in from this direction. So this would probably be a good one. You know, this one is just a discovery center. So depending on what's there, we can look at that. Um, this is probably another good one, Fall River Visitor Center. Um, this is just an information station. Um, this one is actually closed that we saw on the other one, so that's good to know, right? And then you can just check them all out here, so that's really nice. And they also have, you know, a lot of other cool things within this, um, you know, things to do, where to stay, amenities. So the, the map, the uh, National Park Service um, app is actually really good um, and helpful on figuring out what to do at the park. Beaver Meadows Visitor Center would be one that we would want to visit probably. So if you just type that in and it's already coming up there, so click on that and then you can just simply add that to My Maps and now it's included in your My Maps. Now, the next big thing that you gotta figure out is obviously where to camp. The main thing that I use for that is dirt. Um, I actually, they have a, a free version. I ended up accidentally upgrading and I'm glad that I did. <laughs> I'll put in a link in the description to check out dirt. So they, they are our main place to find everything that we need. You can do trips and stuff, but again, the functionality I tried to originally just do everything in here, but the functionality to add other things in, other places I might want to visit, just was lacking. My Maps is, is the way to go um, as far as putting in or figuring out your, your total trip. Um, I just don't think there's any better option out there. And it's free. Okay, so we're gonna go to Rocky Mountain um, National Park. So we'll type that in there. So in this area, we've got 159 campgrounds here. Um, so I love the option to filter. So you can go to site type. As I talked in uh, that last or one of those videos on how to live in your RV for $30 a week, Typically, if you can go to as many dispersed campgrounds as possible, then you're gonna obviously pay a lot less. So we like to go to at least one campground a week, typically so that we can dump and charge batteries and you know cook some bigger meals while we've got um, we're hooked up to water and stuff. So if you click on dispersed, that takes it down to 57 campgrounds that are dispersed, meaning they're free, right? Some of them are like legit campgrounds. Some of them are more like, hey, this is a little pull off that you can stay at and um, no one will mind. Then I also wanna do uh, RVs as well. So that brings us up to 113 campgrounds. So if we click on that, that'll show these 113 campgrounds in our maps here. And then I, I know that from our, um, looks like the visitor centers here right this is just again a point that mark just put in that's like near the national park so that's um not necessarily important as far as location so you want to look at like where you're going to be so we're going to be around here coming up from near denver um, so having a campground or a dispersed area around here would be beneficial so depending on what i'm looking for if we're if we're needing to go to a campground um, so it's going to be kind of up in this area. So I'm going to just click on, okay, here's a KOA. Here's, um, Lemire County Hermit. So if you click on it, you can read more about it. Lemire County Hermit, open space, country, Bobcat campground. So it usually lists the phone number and website and, and different things that you can look up. There's usually reviews. Um, on them, so just a really um, nice thing, a, a great way to find where you wanna stay, right? So one other free one that I'll show you as well that we use sometimes if we can't find anything, um, especially if we're looking for just free camping, um, it's called freecampsites.net. And so um, like if we go to Mesa Verde National Park on that and click on there, Click on it here, 
it will say BLM at Mesa Verde National Park. This is a nice spot near the entrance of Mesa Verde National Park. It's a dirt road, but an emergency wildfire exit from nearby development. Um, you can click on it and get more info. Um, the road will get muddy, but it usually dry quick, moderate risk. And so if, if, if you got some weather, you might not want to go there, right? So that's just another one that we've used to find some as well. This, this place, this website is great too for sometimes when you're just traveling, right? And you're going a long ways and you don't necessarily want to stop at a campground or anything, but you just want to find like even a rest stop. This has a lot of uh, rest stops. So once we find the campground that we like, we'll obviously add that into the um, My Map as well. So like when we went to Joshua Tree, um, that we put in all the visitor centers, and then we actually stayed at a pretty awesome dispersed. So I just put in that dispersed campground and links right to dirt so I can go right there and see. And this actually turned out to be a great spot. Uh, again, it was free, great to, great to be able to stay there. And once you have all this built out on your big computer, like that's great. But when you're traveling and you're in a pinch to find out where am I going again? Like it's awesome to be able to pull this up on your phone. So let me show you that. So once you're on Google Maps on your phone, you wanna click at the bottom where it says saved. If you click on that and then scroll to the bottom and then click on that maps, that's where you find all your My Maps that you've created as long as you're logged into the same account. And then click on the, the map that you want. And so it's really nice. Now I have all that research and stuff that I did on my big computer that I have available right here on my phone. And so then I can just go in and get directions to any of these things. Um, so if I want to go to the Beaver Meadows Visitor Center, I can get directions. One of the things that I really love about the My Maps as well is that whether you're in the middle of your route or beforehand, you can add new destinations, multiple destinations, which is just awesome. Um, so if we want to add a stop on here, we can go in and add a stop. We can go to Denver. Um, add Denver in there. We could add another stop. So I love that capability. You could add gas stations. If I wanted to download a map, so you have to type in a, like a nearby city. And then if you click on download, it'll give you a, um, a window that you can choose to use here. So now I can see I've got my two national parks that I put in there and it'll tell you how much free space you're going to be taking up but typically I wonder how much it'll let me do here yeah it'll only let me do that which I can almost fit all those parks in there and the nice thing about this is then um, if you're out and about and don't have cell phone reception your maps will still work so that saved us many a times the nice thing is is if you've got the maps downloaded you're still fine. Let me know in the comments any questions you have about any of these things. I'd be glad to help out. If you haven't already, check out the video on the left there on how to live in your RV for $30 a week. Um, lots of cool stuff to share in there. So we will talk to you guys again soon. Thanks a bunch.